start recording. What up? We got another brief intro. This one's on two chains. We got we got his first album. Oh, and by the way, let me give you a little 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 introduction into two chains. Two chains came from He's from Atlanta. He came under, he actually came under Ludacris. Under Disturbing the Peace. But, I mean, for obvious reasons, he never really came out with any music at the time. Ludacris was the man at the time. And, um, if you go to Ludacris' discography, you'll see a rapper by the name of Titty Boy. That was 2 Chainz's old name. And, it was back on his third album, Chicken and Beer. Uh, it's definitely it's definitely Chicken and Beer. Um they had a five year break, they were going through it, you know, in the trenches, and they came back on L- Ludacris's other album. I think his fifth, sixth, Theater of the Mind. And they they, they resurged as play a circle. Now they end up meeting Lil Wayne and play a circle player circle came out as a group and they got the Lil Wayne co sign and they made a song. I forgot what the name of the song was. They made a song. It it, it actually got some buzz, it actually got some buzz to it. So, um Two Chains and Dollar Boy. They made a second album. It wasn't the same. Two Chains still went to the studio, did some mixtapes shortly after that, and he became a household name. And this is his first album, based on a true story. 2012. So let's go over the features. We got Lil Wayne, Drake, Kanye. Kanye gave him a major cosign, the huge, the huge cosign. I mean, he still was fucking with Wayne, but Kanye West pushed him to the next level. He's supposed to be with Good. He never signed with Good. Two Chainz decided to do his own thing. So we got the Dream, Nicki, Dollar Boy, Mike, Mike Posner. I wonder what happened to Mike Posner. Huh. John Legend, Scarface, Cap One, Chris Brown. So. He came off the song, the song, the birthday song. And then I'm different. Stripper song. And Riot. Riot was on his mixtape, I believe it was. So. He came out with his second album. This reminds me of Doolittle. I was at Doolittle at this time. It was the good old times. I mean, I was still... I was a peon, I was a nobody at the time, but I remember me and one of the homies. I got his number I got his number right now. Um he used to listen to this album. <laughs> good times, man. Good times, man. And there was there was other chick. Man, it's a good time. Uh, but yeah, I was fucking with this Two Chains album, based on the true story too. Me time. We got features. Oh, I got a remix with Feds from, that's with Lil Wayne, Pharrell, and Ti. I think the original version just has Two Chains. So we got Cap One, Drake, Fergie, Rich Homie Quan, Lloyd, Mace, T Pain, Chrisette Michelle, Liz Rodriguez, Dollar Boy, Pusha T, and I too. Netflix used to be the joint. This one, trap music was. Those there there's two versions of trap music. The ones, the ones, the one that basically Ti and or Gucci Man created, and then there's another version of trap music where it's just based off of the beats and it's just loud. <laughs> and Netflix combines both of those. Yeah. So Two Chain took a break after this. He was popping, but he wasn't really popping enough to 
get get to that next plateau. Uh, he dropped Collie Grove. It was supposed this is supposed to be a joint album. And I was conflicting myself with even putting this album on there and considering this Two Chain Studio album. Now the reason why Two Chains had to consider this his third studio album was because at the time Lil Wayne and Birdman had their little little issues, which I stated in, in the previous video with Lil Wayne. Little Wayne had legal issues and he couldn't release any paid music. So Two Chains had to release this as his fourth studio album. So the only feature on it is Lil Wayne. I added a song with Ty Dolla Sign on it. And this is Collar Grove. Considered to be Two Chains third album. He got a couple He got a version of dedication on here too. Which Lil Wayne decided to put on a Carter 5. Next is Pretty Girls Love Trap Music. I wonder why that's low. That's weird. So, Pretty Girls Love Trap Music. He came out with this album. Off the cusp of doing a song. Shortly after that, he ended up doing a song with Eminem. Um, he's trying to up, up his profile. This is actually one of my favorite Two Chains albums. No, no, no. Two Chains. I, I, I like where I like Two Chains Pocket. I think his last album is my favorite one. But let's go over the features. We got Gucci Man, Quavo, Travis Scott, Nicki, Swaley, Drake, Ty Dolla Sign, Trey Song, Janae, Aiko, OJ the Juice Man, All of the Migos, Pharrell, Louis Farrakhan, and Monica. I got two versions of Watch Out. Hold on, y'all. We got to delete that song. Okay. We're going to keep it at 16. This is a revitalization of two chains. Biggest single on here is uh, Vibe. No, four. There's four AM and then Vibe. My favorite song is Rolls Royce. And we got his final album, Rapper Go to His. Not his final album. Let me rephrase that. His fifth studio album. His latest album, Rapper Go to the Lead. I think this is my favorite album. For me. So let's go over the features. We got Marsha Ambrosius, Young Thug, Travis Scott, Kendrick Lamar. Ariana Grande, Ty Dolla Sign, Lil Wayne, E-40, Chance the Rapper, Kodak Black. And 2 Chainz has one of the dopest album covers, too, so. That's about it for 2 Chainz. 2 Chainz never gets into too much controversy. Not too much on him. Oh, he did try to get a Jay-Z verse. I had made a, made a speculation because I heard some type of rumor about allegedly LeBron James getting that Beyonce. There's no there's no facts to that, you know. And the reason why I make this that connection is because LeBron James is the one that um, executive produced this album. And I think the reason why he did that is because Two Chains is a former basketball player. He's Two Chains like the tallest rapper in the game. Like six foot five. So two chains is a embodiment of a basketball player basically rapping. Somebody that's somebody that can play basketball on a somewhat professional level. I mean you got Quavo though. Quavo's really good at basketball too. But two chains kinda more embodies it. He, that's, see, all you got to do is fit a pocket. You're this person, you're that person. It, it, be, be a character, be yourself and embody that person. There's always, there's always going to be a fan base. There's always going to be people fuck with you. You know, so. That's my brief intro on 2 chains.
Let me know what you guys think of 2 Chan. Anyway.